ISO IEC 27001. Overview ISO IEC 27001 is the internationally recognized standard for Information Security Management Systems ISMS, developed by the International Organization for Standardization ISO, and the International Electrotechnical Commission IEC. It provides a comprehensive framework for managing and protecting sensitive information within an organization. It specifies the requirements for establishing, implementing, maintaining, and continually improving an ISMS. Key Objectives of ISO IEC 27001 The primary objective of ISO IEC 27001 is to ensure the confidentiality, integrity, and availability CIA, of information. The framework achieves this through risk management and the implementation of appropriate security controls. The ultimate goal is to safeguard an organization's data from security threats, both internal and external. Key Components of ISO IEC 27001 ISO IEC 27001 follows a systematic approach to risk management and information security. It includes the following key components. Context of the organization. Understanding the organization. An organization must first understand the external and internal factors that can affect its information security. Stakeholder requirements. It is essential to determine the needs and expectations of stakeholders related to information security. Defining the ISMS scope. Organizations must define the boundaries of their ISMS, taking into consideration business processes, locations, and the scope of sensitive information. Two, leadership and commitment. Top management responsibility. Senior management must demonstrate leadership and commitment to information security by ensuring proper resourcing, defining security policies, and setting clear objectives for the ISMS. Information security policy. The organization must develop and maintain an information security policy that aligns with its business objectives and strategic goals. Roles and responsibilities. Clear roles and responsibilities must be defined for information security across all levels of the organization. Three, risk assessment and treatment. Risk management. Organizations are required to perform a risk assessment to identify potential threats, vulnerabilities, and the impact on the organization's information. Risk treatment plan. After identifying the risks, a treatment plan is formulated to manage and mitigate the risks through the implementation of appropriate controls. Ongoing monitoring. Continuous monitoring and assessment are required to ensure the effectiveness of the security controls and identify new risks. Four, control objectives and controls. Annex A of ISO IEC 27001 contains a list of 114 security controls grouped into 14 control categories, such as access control, asset management, cryptography, physical security, etc. Implementing security controls. Organizations are required to implement a set of controls based on the identified risks, including physical, technical, and organizational safeguards. Control selection. The selection of controls must be based on the specific needs of the organization, its risk profile, and its business environment. Five, performance evaluation. Monitoring, measurement, and review. The performance of the ISMS must be regularly monitored, measured, and reviewed to ensure its ongoing effectiveness. Internal audits. Regular internal audits are required to assess the compliance and effectiveness of the ISMS and identify areas for improvement. Management review. Top management must periodically review the ISMS to ensure that it remains aligned with the organization's goals and objectives. Six, continual improvement. Non-conformities and corrective actions. Any identified weaknesses or failures in the ISMS should be addressed through corrective actions. Ongoing improvement, ISO, IEC. 
27001 requires organizations to continually improve their information security management system by learning from past experiences and evolving security threats. Benefits of ISO IEC 27001 Implementing ISO IEC 27001 brings a wide range of benefits to organizations, especially in managing risks related to information security. Some key benefits include 1. Enhanced Information Security ISO IEC 27001 helps protect sensitive information by addressing both technical and organizational aspects of information security, ensuring that data remains confidential, accurate, and accessible only to authorized individuals. 2. Risk Management The framework provides a structured approach to identifying, assessing, and managing risks. By applying the risk management process, organizations can reduce the likelihood and impact of security incidents. 3. Compliance with legal and regulatory requirements. Many industries are subject to legal, regulatory, and contractual obligations regarding data security. ISO IEC 27001 helps organizations meet these requirements and demonstrate their commitment to cybersecurity, protecting them from penalties or legal actions. 4. Customer Confidence Being ISO IEC 27001 certified provides customers, partners, and stakeholders with assurance that their sensitive data is handled securely. This can be a differentiator in a competitive market and can enhance business relationships. Improve business processes. Implementing ISO IEC 27001 often leads to a more structured and efficient approach to managing information, reducing redundancies, and improving operational efficiency. Six, incident response and recovery. ISO IEC 27001 ensures that organizations have effective response and recovery procedures in place to quickly address security incidents and minimize disruption to business operations. ISO IEC 27001, the role and implementation process. The implementation of ISO IEC 27001 requires a holistic approach that involves a wide range of activities and steps. Initial Planning and Commitment Secure Management Commitment Senior management must fully support the implementation of the ISMs, as this is critical for the success of the framework. Define the scope and objectives. Establish the scope of the ISMs and set clear, measurable objectives aligned with business goals. Risk Assessment Conduct a thorough risk assessment to identify, evaluate, and prioritize information security risks. The risk treatment process follows this step to mitigate those risks using appropriate security controls. Define and implement controls. Implement the controls from Annex A based on the risk assessment. This includes technical controls like encryption, access management, and network security, as well as physical and organizational controls. Documentation and policies. Develop policies, procedures, and documentation to support the implementation and ongoing operation of the ESMS. This will include security guidelines, roles, and responsibilities, and detailed security protocols. Training and awareness. It is essential to train employees on their roles in the ISMS, raise awareness about information security, and ensure that they are familiar with security practices and policies. Monitor, review, and audit. Monitor the performance of the ISMS through regular audits and internal reviews. This ensures that controls are functioning effectively and helps identify opportunities for improvement. Continuous improvement. After implementation, ISO IEC 27001 emphasizes continual improvement. This requires periodically reviewing the ISMs, responding to emerging threats, and adapting the system to keep pace with new challenges. Key differences between ISO IEC 27001 and NIST Cybersecurity Framework. 
While both the ISO IEC 27001 and the NIST Cybersecurity Framework focus on cybersecurity and risk management, there are key differences. Scope ISO IEC 27001 is specifically an Information Security Management System ISMS standard and applies to all types of organizations and industries. NIST CSF is primarily targeted at critical infrastructure sectors and provides broader cybersecurity guidance, including IT and operational technology, OT. Focus on risk management. Both frameworks emphasize risk management, but ISO IEC 27001 is more focused on implementing a comprehensive management system, whereas NIST CSF provides more tactical steps for managing risk. Certification ISO IEC 27001 requires formal certification through an independent audit process, making it a certifiable standard. NIS CSF does not offer certification, as it is more of a voluntary framework for improving cybersecurity processes. Conclusion ISO EIC 27001 is a powerful and structured framework that helps organizations implement a comprehensive ISMS to manage and protect sensitive information. By addressing risk management, implementing controls, and ensuring continuous improvement, ISO IEC 27001 enables organizations to secure their data, comply with legal requirements, and build trust with stakeholders. It is a vital tool for any organization looking to formalize and strengthen its approach to information security and cybersecurity.